Hello friends and family once again welcome to Armstrong Computers channel. Today's segment we'll be looking at how to set up PHP inventory management system with POS. Without wasting my time let's get started. <music> Okay, so basically that it is, as you can see, this is my screen and you can see uh, this is my, how to call it, my um, source code and more or less mouse in my uh, script. So I'm going to um, kind of like um, copy it or cut it and send it to, I'll move straightly to my, um, this PC. Then from there I'll go to my local Dex and then I'll come to this very side, which I'll come to my uh, ZAMP uh, folder. Then I'll look for ht docs okay open it then i'll paste my file here so therefore my my file is already here so mine is to just extract it so i right click on it remember now in my previous lesson we learned about how to set up an open source uh, uh pos which we name it armstrong pos i'll be leaving a link here where you guys can go and take a recap of it it's a whole um kind of like POS setup series, you can just follow it up. As I, I will also be leaving the link in the description below so you guys can just go and take a recap of that. So let's begin then. So I'm going to extract it because I have a folder name Armstrong POS. I'm going to call this one Armstrong POS 1. Okay, basically that is just that. So let's extract it then. So I right click on it and click on um, extract file. So then in dialog box we display, I'm just going to add, let me add S instead of one, let me add S to it. So it's going to be Armstrong POS S kind of something like this. Because I already have this, so basically that is just that. Then I'll go ahead and go and click on OK. So you see it is extracting. So let's wait for it a while. So as you can see, it has finished extracting. You can see we have Armstrong P P O S S. Basically, that is that. That's the file name. But before then, let's start the ZAMP and do some configuration before we come here. So with that, we see my time. I'll minimize my window. Then I'll go straightly to open my ZAMP. I'll click. I'll start my Apache, and then I'll start my SQLA. So I'll click on my SQLA, and then wait for it a while and minimize my window again. So as I've opened my Google Chrome browser, as you can see here, so I'll just come here and type local host, press enter, and this is my local host, okay? So basically that is just a, but hey, let's go ahead. So I'll just go straightly and come to um, PHP, my admin, okay? So I'll click on my PHP, my admin, and this is my uh, PHP, my admin. So basically we are going to create, how do you call it, um, a database, and I'm going to name the database, let's say inventory, or any which way so but before then let's do some couple of configuration so i'll just create i'm only to assign um, a username and a password to my uh, php my admin so to do that now i'm here we have the roots okay scroll down here and then just come to edit permissions then click on it then after that you also to just look up here we have password click on it after you click on it just here we have enter so you type the password that you need to enter so let me show you the password I wanted to use for you guys to see the reality of everything so might as well just go um, so this is the password I like to use okay so this is the password I like to use so I'll just uh, copy it if possible let me just do this okay just copy it and then I'll paste it here. Come here and do the same and paste it here. So basically, this is the password I wanted to use. After that, I'll go ahead and click on Go. So it is done. Now, after it is done, mine will just go straightly and come to um, my folder. Come to where we have this. Come to where we have this uh, PC. So when I come to this PC, I come to the local Dex. So when I come to my local Dex. Might to just screw down and come to where we have uh, my ZAMP folder. Open the ZAMP folder. And after opening the ZAMP folder, 
might as well just go ahead and then and then come to where we have php my admin double click on it then i'll scroll down and then look for config.inc.php which is this one config.inc.php so that is it so for now what i need to do is that i need to open my sublime text so this is my text editor sublime text i'll open it now after opening my text editor which is sublime text what i'll do is that i'll drag this very file and then drop it here and do the configuration so i'll drop it here now and then i'll maximize my window so here what i'll do is that the username is still root that is just that so i'll come here and then paste the password that i used is it remember i copied it on notepad that is it so i'll just paste it here then come to what we have uh, i'll change the um, config to cookies okay so to cookies nicely then i'll save so after saving it might just click on file and now click on save so after i'm done might just minimize it and open my browser and then refresh then to ask of uh, username which is the root which is already there then i'll type the password so i'll just paste it because i copied it already in the clipboard memory and i'll click on go so automatically i am in now so as i'm in i might well just go ahead and then do my configuration by creating my database so to create my database what i need to do is just simple what i'll do is i'll just click on what we have uh, new and then i'll type the name of the database i wanted to create okay so i wanted to call this database let's say inventory or if you like any name that you want okay so but i'll call it inventory So as I just type the name inventory, might you just go ahead and click on create or just click on create. So after I finish creating the database, watch what we are going to do now. The next we are going to go, we are going to do, we are going to just go to uh, local decks and then go to the ZAMP folder. So let's do that. So I was to just go straightly and let me minimize this and come to this PC. So when I come to this PC, I might as well just come to look at this here and screw down here where I, where I have the uh, ZAMP. Okay, open the ZAMP folder. Then I'll come to my HT Docs, open it again. Then I'll come straight to my Armstrong POSS. Everyone, so I'll open it. Remember, when we extract it, it's created two folders. So we are going to just highlight on this and then copy all this. So hold on, select one, control plus A. Then I like you to move it, okay? So you have to move it to wherever I want to move, but let me do something simple. You also just click on cut, control plus X to cut it, go back, and then come to the very side, your window, and click on paste, and then you paste it over here. Then select this very folder, which is the Armstrong POS, delete it, and then it is gone. So now we have our file here. So as we have our file here, now for us to move forward, pay attention and learn. Now you can see that when you look through here, we have the inventory, SQL as the database file. We're going to import this database file into uh, the my SQL database that we created. Okay, my SQL database that we created. So to do this, I always just go to the browser, and um, this is what we have. Um, go to the PHP my admin, and then we just go to where we have uh, inventory. So I'll select the inventory, and then when I select the inventory, we select the inventory. Might as well just go ahead and click on import. When I click on import, and now I need to select choose file. So I click on choose file. So after clicking on choose file, might as well just go straight and come to where we have um, local decks. So after clicking on local decks, then might as well just go ahead and then screw down and come to where we have um, ZAMP. After clicking on ZAMP, I'll screw down and come to my HT docs, open the HT docs, and then come to where we have Armstrong POSS. Double click on it to be open. Then I'll screw down here and you see where we have my what inventory dot sql so i'll select it after selecting i'll just click on open and then imagine i'm importing it okay so might as well just come here and just go click on go and wait for it so now it is then um uh, importing all the database file into the database so let's wait for a while and let's do some configuration So as you can see, it has finished successfully uh, deploying or importing all the files into the database. So therefore, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new tab. So after opening a new tab, I'm going to type localhost slash. OK, 
okay armstrong p-o-s-s -S, and then press enter okay then let's wait for it for a while so as you can see my pos has been launched so my suggest enter uh, the password more like the username and then the password and i can just log in so let's go ahead then so i'll type uh, the username as adi or okay let's just let me backspace that and let me use a username known as um, armstrong so i'm going to type the username known as armstrong okay so i'll type in the armstrong okay then after that what i'll do is that i'll just go ahead and come and type the password the password is the same it's just going to be um capital a okay zero two zero nine four six one p then you just click on sign in okay so as, as i just signed that's so basically as you can see um i i am on the dashboard now <coughs> sorry about that i am on the dashboard now so automatically you can see that this is my dashboard and it's everything there you can click on item and click on new item so when you click on new item now it enables you to enter your own item so the new item portal will open you type the name of the item there you select the whether it is pieces or category or whatever and then you go to and type the expiring date of the item you select the category also of the item there okay nicely then after that you scroll down then you select the selling price of the item that's the price and then you type the cost price of the item now let me show you something i'm going to type the cost price automatically to just give you the what the profit let me show you something just go to the cost price and type something like 90 and the selling price let's say we are selling it for um we said you're giving us a profit of what is 11 cities so basically that is just that and you can just type the adjust stock as well so then you type adjust stock and you just screw after typing adjust you screw then you type the uh, minimum quantity so far as i let is concerned so that if the things come to us as uh, finish it should alert you so you can do that so bigger you can see this is the dashboard also and it is just uh, kind of like uh, refreshing so at the end of the day also let me show you another uh, model this is the pos interface where you see we have a tv you select the tv then after that you uh, screw down where we have the uh, payment model you can see the tv is 2400 so when i click on uh, the multiple payment for instance and then i type the amount let's say the person is giving me 2500 as the tv is 2400 it will give me the change of 100 cities so with cash it will give me the change which is the balance or i'll be giving you a price of 100 then i sit down just click on save and then print so we can just type 2500 okay as you can see there then after that you come to um you see that you give me the change of 100 you come to where we have uh payment type cash on pay click on save and print and then it will save and print and you can see it giving you let's see the receipt interface so this is the receipt there's the name of the company which is displayed at the top there okay so basically that is just that and this is a preview system now so let's wait for the receipts to preview and then we can move on so you can see so this is the preview of the receipt and you can see there and there everything is there nicely now it's also accept how they call it the um, pos printer x printer so you can also use the x printer uh, so far the x printer is concerned you know, to print for you nicely so basically that is it. let's go back to the dashboard now so just go and just uh, screw down and then click on the dashboard and i am on the, the dashboard now let me show you something here you can also um screw down and come to the settings and do all the settings that you want to do you can go to uh, users and then type the rules of the user let me show you the rules of the users also as well where we have the cashier we have the owner we have the uh, super admin we have the admin you can click on the task or we have admin click on edit and then um edit the rule of the admin and click on edit and then edit the rule of the owner so basically that is just that so i'm logging out so i just log out and that is the system that is all for today thank you guys for watching see you in the next video bye bye